Justin Warner here for Eat the Universe, and today we're gonna create a meatloaf wrapped in puff pastry, aka a meatloaf wellington, inspired by Angel, aka Thomas Holloway. Angel's first appearance was in Marvel Comics number one, and Angel was super popular in the late 1930s, just like meatloaf. Just like Angel, the meatloaf really has no superpowers. We are, however, going to wrap it up in a puff pastry cape of mercury. Hopefully it solves our hunger like Angel solved crimes. So this is puff pastry. You can buy it in the freezer section at your local grocer. Here's a rolling pin. You can see that I've used blue painter's tape to outline the dimensions that I want the puff pastry to have. Uh, this way I don't have to keep getting out a tape measure or a length of string, etc., etc. It's clever things like this that the Angel was known for. Angel would eventually kind of lay the groundwork for a bunch of other Marvel heroes. Just like Captain America, he fought Nazis. And just like Kate Bishop, he really didn't have any superpowers. He was just super good hearted and dropping. So this is a baking sheet that I've lined with a silicone baking mat. Now I'm gonna repeat the process. So Angel had all sorts of uh, occult knowledge and eventually ended up finding a woman that was thousands of years old buried beneath a Greek city. And uh, once he saved her, she gifted him the Cape of Mercury, which uh, gave him the powers of flight. However, he just, for some reason, didn't really use them that often. What a guy. Now it's time to assemble. Here we have our uh, meatloaf. This has been cooked and cooled. And then we have our puff pastry cape of mercury. Just gonna robe it up just like that. Normally if you were making a beef wellington, you would have this beautiful piece of expensive beef tenderloin, and then you would enrobe it in mushrooms and robe it in puff pastry. And that would kind of be like the supercharged, super powered version of this dish. This, however, is the angel version of a beef wellington, so we're using meatloaf. So now I'm gonna crimp this. And that gives us this kind of neat, almost like fabric-y looking edge. Some people say that the cape of Mercury that Angel wore would later kind of go on to inspire the cloak of levitation uh, worn by our good friend, Dr. Strange. So by crimping this, we're going to lock in all of the flavor of the meatloaf as it reheats, and then the butter within the puff pastry is going to render out, and basically we're gonna get this pastry-encrusted, butter-basted meatloaf. Sounds pretty good, right? To make sure this gets the beautiful golden brown color, I'm gonna finish this off with a little egg wash. This is just beaten egg and water. So Angel's an accomplished disguise artist, and I really feel like by adding the puff pastry to the meatloaf, you're kind of disguising the fact that there's just meatloaf in here. We have just one final step to prepare this beautiful Angel-inspired puff pastry encrusted meatloaf, and that's to cut a few little slits in the top of the pastry. We're gonna create a beautiful little pattern that's also gonna allow steam to escape. I'm gonna pop this in the oven and we'll witness Thomas Holloway's transformation into Angel. So I've added some chives to our Angel-inspired meatloaf wellington. Now all we have to do is give it a try. Oh man, crusty, flaky, juicy. That's a big bite. Mmm. This is probably the best meatloaf I've ever had. It's super flaky, it's moist, it's juicy, it's buttery. The chives bring a little bit of color, but also some light onioniness to it. Thanks to Angel, we've learned that you don't need superpowers to make a supercharged meatloaf. That's all we've got for Eat the Universe. We'll see you next time. <laughs>